Hey guys, it's Jan, not a real farm. So despite all the water that's gotten in here, we are still harvesting. So I wanted to bring you through and show you some of the things that are ready to pick. Our poblano here today is pretty much ready to pick. Take a look at that beautiful poblano. So they start off that really nice green that you might see in a salsa verde, and then they'll eventually turn to red, and that's when they're their hottest. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this, saving it, and saving the seed. And we actually have a few other ones that are ready as well. We've got our fish pepper, which now has turned from that nice sort of light striped green into that hot red and that is gonna be amazing in a chili for the winter. Let's take that off here, whoops. Isn't that awesome? We still have our pink cherry tomatoes. So our pink cherry tomatoes, we can harvest those and those just keep growing basically all summer long. And then we have our black Roma or our black paste tomatoes. So let's take a look and see. We've actually got quite a few of them in here. Some of them are getting to the point where they're getting stuck in the, <laughs> the cattle panel. So here's a few of them here. So the longer you leave them on the vine, the more of that nice black sort of coloring that you get. Take a look at that. Isn't that nice? So we'll save the seed from that. And there's actually quite a few more of them and they're still developing. These actually put on all summer long. This whole entire plant is nothing but black paste. And then we have our mini red bell peppers. So these are just going to be a little red snack pepper that you can stuff or you can, basically, these never really make it up to the house because they're just actually so cool and they taste really good. So these are our little mini red bells. So they don't get any bigger than this, but they make a really great tasty snack. And these put on all summer long, so you get these sort of nice mini sized uh, sweet bell peppers. So they're actually really cool. Still continuing to harvest tomatoes. So these are, of course, our hybrid celebrity tomatoes. So this was the only hybrid that I planted this year inside the greenhouse. Now we had all that rain and flooding. And of course my outside gardens are drenched. As a matter of fact, it rained so hard it uncovered a lot of my potatoes. But now we're gonna go back to the heat. So I'm thinking I'll probably get some really great developed vegetables outside. This actually quite, this gave me a lot of tomatoes actually. If you're looking for a really great hybrid to grow just for making sure that you've got a tomato crop, the Celebrity Hybrid is a really great one. So you can see here you get lots and lots and lots of red tomatoes. They've got that old fashioned tomato taste. I really, really enjoy those. And then we have our medium size lunch peppers. So once again, this is sort of a what we call a lunchbox pepper. So it's a little bit bigger than the other mini bells, but they make really great snacks to add into a lunchbox or with hummus. And then we have our purple rain. So here we go. Here is the purple rain developing. So it goes from the green to the purple. Then if the weather's warmer, we get this sort of lighter yellow. Still sweet, it doesn't change the taste. But when the weather starts to cool off, they begin to look like this. So you got that yellow on the bottom, and then you've got a nice deep dark purple on the shoulders. So we can pick these. These are really nice tomatoes. Check that out. Moving on over here, if we look way up here, 
we've got our kidney beans that have now started to go to seed. These are a, basically a pole bean and you need a lot of room. And as a matter of fact, what they've done is they've grown all the way up into my shade cloth. So I can just move the shade cloth out and they'll all fall down and we can collect the seeds. So these kidney beans are actually cool because they're blue kidney beans. And that makes your chili interesting. Take a look at that. So they kind of turn from a really light blue into this nice sort of, let's say almost like a navy blue. And they do keep their color, so that's actually really neat. And now something really cool to share, I can show you now that the rice has started to dry out. So now what you can do when you do grow rice like this is you can collect the seed and replant it and continue to make this upland rice a reliable crop in your area. So it did very well growing in a pot. So we started off doing it that way. And now what we can do is because this rice thrives on drought is we'll be making a bigger crop of it next year. That's it for me today, guys. I thought I would just share a really quick video with you this morning to show you that we're still harvesting despite the water. It's starting to get warm in here. The sun is coming up, which is a good thing because the water won't last too long in here. I hope you guys enjoyed the mini tour. See you soon.